Hello, my name is Vincent Creel, Public Affairs Manager for the City of Biloxi, here with today's report for a wet Friday, April 16th, 2021. We'll have your weekend preview, the latest on COVID-19 and vaccinations, the word on golf carts, and more. But we begin today with the weather, the wet weather. To give you an idea of how much rain we've had, Keesler says we've had 11 inches of rainfall in the past week. It began on Saturday with 3.8 inches of rain, and on Thursday we had 4.72 inches of rain. That one day total is more than the 4.6 inches of rain that we see for the entire month of April. The rain has drenched the windblown sand on Highway 90 making it a challenge for drivers, as well as at construction sites like here on Oak Street. This incessant rain has also brought several major city construction projects to a halt. Here's a look at the infrastructure work on Howard Avenue at Maple. It's an area east of Oak Street and north of the Harris parking garage. Even the Slavonian Lodge was not spared from the rain. Over at Division in Benaki, where city contractors were in the process of constructing huge box culverts that will run under Division Street, work has also come to a standstill after stormwater inundated the site. And of course, it was the same thing out on Shriners Boulevard, where contractors are also building huge box culverts under the roadway. These are images from Thursday morning. Every day of torrential extended downpours means two to three days of pumping out the work sites and waiting for them to dry before contractors can safely resume work. And more rain is expected for the weekend, as you can see from the forecast. It's either going to be raining or getting ready to rain. By the way, you can see the real-time data on the rivers in Biloxi by visiting the storm and flood section of the city website. Then click on the respective river. Meanwhile, stay safe and stay dry. The Biloxi City Council this week gave the green light to low-speed vehicles such as golf carts being used on Biloxi roadways, but only roadways with a speed limit of 25 miles or less. Don't get your golf cart out yet. Plans are in the works right now to set up an inspection and permitting process over in the Biloxi Police Department. Here are some things you need to know up front. The low speed vehicles must be electric and cannot travel any more than 25 miles an hour. They will not be allowed on major thoroughfares such as US 90, Pass Road, or any other street where the speed limit is more than 25 miles an hour. The carts must also be operated by a licensed driver. They must be inspected and insured. On Thursday, the city formally dedicated the Woolmarket City Center, which houses the county-operated Woolmarket Public Library and a city-operated community room for gatherings. The facility is now available for rental and you can hear more about it in a new video on the city Facebook and YouTube pages. And now this. As of Thursday, April the 15th, the Mississippi State Department of Health reports 410 new cases of the coronavirus statewide, the highest since March the 13th when 690 new cases were reported in one day. Also, five new deaths statewide were reported today and 21 new COVID-19 cases were reported in Harrison County. Overall, more than 308,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported in Mississippi with more than 7,100 deaths. The state reports that over 17,500 cases of the coronavirus have been documented in Harrison County since the pandemic began over a year ago. Also, there have been 302 deaths reported in Harrison County. Here's a 14-day chart for Harrison County. As for the hospitalizations, the state reports that as of April the 14th, 174 patients with the virus were hospitalized statewide. Seven were in Coast Hospitals and three of those patients were in intensive care units. The state also says that as of April the 12th, 
more than 297,000 are presumed to have recovered from COVID-19. As for the vaccinations, more than 1,500,000 Mississippians have now received a COVID-19 vaccination. More than 660,000 are fully vaccinated and more than 53,000 residents in Harrison County have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Vaccinations are available for age 16 and older and are still being administered at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum, some local health providers, and pharmacies. Memorial Hospital is offering vaccinations by appointment only on Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the Dr. Frank G. Gruage Community Center located at 591 Howard Avenue. You may call their COVID-19 hotline at 228-867-5000. Remember, you have to schedule an appointment. For more information about the vaccinations and links to appointments, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us or you may call the Mississippi COVID-19 hotline at 877-978-6453. To schedule a COVID-19 vaccination. Please continue to follow all safety guidelines to reduce the chance of passing COVID-19 to others. That includes wearing a face mask and social distancing. This weekend it is forecast for more rain chances and mild temperatures. As for the activities this weekend, the 28th annual Crawfish and Music Festival will be at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. The event features carnival type rides, a crawfish cook-off, and live entertainment such as Riley Green and Nico Moon. Visit mscoastcoliseum.com for more details and for ticket information. And over at the Point Cadet Plaza, there will be the Rock and Roll Open Car, Jeep, and Bike Show on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with food and craft vendors and live music. Call 228-860-4103 or visit online at clearvisionent.net for more information. And don't forget to check out the community calendar on the city's website for more weekend happenings. And if you are out and about enjoying the weekend activities, don't forget to text Biloxi to 99411 for traffic and weather advisories. We leave you today with the moment of Zen, Pelicans, in slow motion with the sound of silence. We'll see you again next Friday.